Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.13 from Sadiku book. So the question is, in the circuit of figure 7.93, we are given VT and IT, which is that function. And then the question is, find the resistance, the inductance, and the time constant, R, L, and tau. And B, calculate the energy dissipated in the resistance for T between 0 and 0 0.5 millisecond. Okay, let's do exactly that. But first, maybe let's convert this IT into ampere first. So our VT is that function. AT e to the minus. I think I will just write it 1000 T like this. And the unit here is volt. Okay. And then IT, because the unit is in milliampere, I want to convert it into uh, SI. So I will have 5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. And then E to the minus, I think I just write it 1000 T. The unit here will be ampere. Okay, let's start from the question A. Find R. Okay, R should be easily calculated by using Ohm's law, which is Vt divided by It. Okay, and just let's plug that in, right? So I will have At e to the minus 1000 T. The unit is already in Si, so I don't write it. And then the current, that will be 5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 e to the minus 1000 t okay that's good and now we can just uh, cancel this out because this is the same term and 5 and 80 will cancel into 16 yeah i think so i will get our resistance is 16 divided by 10 to the minus 3 or 10 to the 3 and the unit here is ohm or we can convert it into kilo ohm so the resistance will be 16 kilo ohm okay that is our resistance here okay now what's next we are asked to find out the inductance okay remember that in inductor Vt is equal to the inductance multiplied by the derivative of the current uh, in respect to time. Like this. But remember, this is uh, for the current that goes down. But our current here goes up, so we can put a minus sign here. Okay, now let's plug our V in. So I will have AT e to the minus 1000 t and then minus the inductance as is what we are looking for so i will have l and then d over dt of let's plug this in so i'll have 5 multiplied by 10 to the 3 and then e to the minus 1000 t Okay, on the left hand side, we still have this AT e to the minus 1000 T. And on the right hand side, we can take this derivative of this function here. And that will be 5 multiplied, okay, minus here, 5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. But then we multiply it by minus 1000. Okay. And then e to the minus 1000 T. But remember, we still have this inductance that we are looking for. Okay, this term is exactly the same. So this will cancel out. Okay, and then 10 to the minus 3 and then 1000 will cancel each other. And then negative times negative will be a positive. So we can just remove that. And so we will have 80 
is equal to 5L. Or we can divide both sides by 5. So our inductance is 16. And the unit is Henry. Okay. And that is the second variables that we are looking for. So I will have, we already have the R and the L. Okay. So now what's next is the time constant. We can just plug in the time constant formula, which is tau is equal to the L divided by the R. Okay. So we will have 16 Henry here. And then the R will be 16 to the multiplied by 10 to the third power here. And so I will have this and this. And so I will have 10 to the minus 3 second or our tau is 1 millisecond. <laughs> yeah, that is the same, right? So that's all for the question A. I will have 16 kilo ohm. 16 Henry and then 1 millisecond. Okay, now let's move on to the part B of this question. So we have cleaned up our slides and now let's calculate the energy dissipated in the resistance for 0 less than T and less than 0 0.5 millisecond. So let's remember that the energy dissipated or W is the integral of the what is it the power dt and this is the initial time and this is the final time like this okay the initial time will be zero so i'll have zero here and then the final time will be 0 0.5 millisecond or 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 and then what else can we do? PT. PT is just the voltage multiplied by the current. So I will have AT E to the minus 1000 T. And then the current. That will be 5 times 10 to the minus 3 times E to the minus 1000 T. And then dt okay uh, let's rewrite that so i will have zero then in the upper bound we'll have 1.5 10 to the minus 3 and then 80 times 5 is 400 400 times 10 to the minus 3 i will have 0 0.4 and then e to the minus 10,000 t twice so i will have e to the minus 2000 T and then DT. Okay, I think I don't want to make this video any longer. Just plug this into calculator, right? The easiest way to do it. You can do it manually, but I don't want to make mistakes. So I will have 0 0.4 and then E to the minus 2000 X. Okay, this is the x, so I just put that x, not t. But then the lower bound is 0. And what is the upper bound? 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. Okay, I think we got this all correct, right? Yeah, let's stop that numerically. So I will have... 1.2 okay 1.26424 times 10 to the minus 4 and the unit here because this is volt and ampere so this will be in joule or if we can sim we want to simplify this we multiply this by 10 to the 6 that will be 126.42 and the unit will be micro joule. So this is the answer for the problem B. So we get all the answer done for the this problem 7.13.
hopefully this will help you to solve this problem see you in the next video bye bye